LA County Sheriff Alex Villanueva continued to go in on the vaccination requirement for county employees, which include his rank and file. He says hundreds in his department are planning to leave because of the mandate that he refuses to enforce. NBC 4's Patrick Healy live for us in downtown Los Angeles with that story. Patrick. Michael, Sheriff Villanueva ensuring his uh, doomsday scenario again today calls the county's vaccine mandate bad policy, says incentives would work better. But in the meantime, his vehement stand raises a question. Has it played a role in more deputies not yet getting vaccinated? In big cities across the nation, employee vaccine mandates face opposition from many who work in law enforcement and fire, unions often resisting management insistence. What's unusual with L.A. Sheriff's employees is that the sheriff himself, Alex Villanueva, is telling them he won't enforce it because county supervisors made bad policy, calling a news conference today to say so again. And what we've had happened with the Board of Supervisors in their August motion is they put the policy in play first, and then now they're trying to scramble. Sheriff Villanueva said only 51.7 percent of his employees are fully vaccinated and contends if the rest are compelled, many will leave. He had charts ready to show that more employees are now planning to exit than the typical 500 or so of recent years. Planned early retirement up 20 percent, including many senior deputies. Because they've already maxed out their retirement benefits and they can simply just walk away because they're just fed up with the nonsense going on in county government. Sheriff Villanueva has repeatedly clashed with L.A. County supervisors as a fellow elected, not appointed official, and repeatedly criticized their policy making, accusing them of jeopardizing public safety, in this case by putting deputies on the spot. So imagine what would happen if every one of these was forced or was terminated. Villanueva says he himself has been vaccinated and rejects only the mandate. And the collective risk does not justify this type of an intrusion. But is he saying deputies are in this sense above the law? We asked the question this way. Are you and your deputies sending the public a message you can ignore requirements you don't like? We're not sending that message at all. No, you're editorializing. County supervisors have been in an all-day session today. They were meeting while the sheriff made his remarks here at the Hall of Justice. But since they finished their meeting, two have released statements. Supervisor Janice Hahn said what we need from the sheriff right now is leadership for once, unquote. And a Supervisor Barger was more conciliatory, but she still chided the sheriff for not meeting with her, talking with her to work out a solution. Now, L.A. County initially set the beginning of last month as the deadline for all of its county's uh, employees to get vaccinated. It later moved that to the middle of next this month, now two weeks away. At last count, about 65 percent of county employees overall were fully vaccinated. Reporting live downtown, Patrick Healy, NBC4 News.